there. I'm Professor Simon Hazlitt, and I'm here in Kuala Lumpur, the capital city of Malaysia in Southeast Asia. Now, I'm here looking at the city and some of the environmental problems that a, uh, a tropical, uh, large tropical city has. Now, in the tropics, there is heavy precipitation. Usually here on a, on a daily basis, there are thunderstorms and, and heavy rainstorms. Now, all that water uh, needs to be conveyed through the city. And in particular, Kuala Lumpur is situated in a basin that is surrounded by mountains uh, on either side. Rivers come through uh, Kuala Lumpur um, and out to the sea uh, nearby, not too far away. I'm standing here on the banks of the River Gombak uh, that runs through Kuala Lumpur city. And the River Gombak is a tributary of the River Klang, which then exits out into the ocean. Now, as you can see, the River Gombak is a uh, muddy uh, river, and that's due to the heavy suspended sediment that is contained within the water. Within the tropical environment with heavy rainstorms, uh, soil is easily washed into the uh, watercourses through streams and then into the major rivers that run through the city. But in addition to the sort of natural silt that's contained within uh, the river water, also in Kuala Lumpur with its construction, uh, high construction industry, there's a lot of debris and silt that gets into the water through construction, through the digging of foundations, that rainwater then washing the, water, the, uh, the silt into the, into the river systems. And that can pose problems with siltation, uh, decreasing the size of the channel, which of course might then lead to uh, uh, the increase of flooding, which is a problem within the city. Indeed, over the last few, uh, few days, uh, it's in January 2014 at the moment, there has been a number of instances of flash floods throughout the city where the, the, simply the, the watercourses, the rivers, the streams, uh, the drainage system cannot cope with the uh, amount of rain uh, that is falling on occasions. Siltation uh, exacerbates the risk of flooding because it decreases the uh, amount of uh, the volume capacity of the of the river systems uh, through through the deposition of the silt. So that's that's one issue that they that they face here. Now, in the uh, the catchment area here, the geology is is, is threefold. In the in the headwaters of the river Gombak here, uh, we have limestones and marbles uh, that are able to be dissolved, and so we do have caverns and cave systems through which the water can can run. Once we come down here into the, the central part of Kuala Lumpur, the geology uh, here is quartzites, and further downstream we have uh, granite lithologies as well. So the rivers easily run across the surface, the, the rocks are impermeable, so the waters run on the surface. Further in the, in the, up the catchment, with the limestone terrain, we do have underground river systems as well, and sinkholes can be a problem in those areas. Uh, what we can see here, is uh, a, the river channel, but of course it is well engineered. You can see that it's been canalized, it's straight. Uh, we have engineered banks. And also you can see that on the, uh, the margins of the, of the river channel, we have these sort of flat areas, these flat levee areas that have been engineered uh, to carry the capacity of flood water. And we can see that on the far side there, we do have concrete embankments which protect the buildings uh, on, on, the, uh, on the bank of the, of the river. To protect the wall from being undermined is also uh, from the energy, to dissipate the energy of the river floods, river, river water, we do have these lines of boulders that are set out there to absorb some of the, the flow energy to protect the, the banks from failing and to protect the property behind. So we do have this characteristic urban uh, engineered channel to maintain the river during its normal flow but also in times of flood to take the extra flood capacity and hopefully to prevent the, the, the banks being eroded to protect the properties on either side. Now let's just wander along the river um, because just, just upstream the river Gombak is joined at its confluence with the river Batu uh, which we'll have a, have a look at.
Okay, I've just walked upstream a little bit. And as we can see here, we have the confluence of two rivers. On the left there, we have the River Batu, uh, which flows down from northern Kuala Lumpur. And on the right here, uh, the right fork, is the River Gombak, which uh, drains, has a catchment to the northeast of the city. We can see here that the confluence has been engineered as well and managed. The granite boulders that we see marking the peninsula there in the middle of the confluence, of course, aren't uh, uh, from this area. They've, been, they've been, probably been brought in. Although there is a, a granite outcrop just to the north here, largely the area around here is quartzite. Uh, so we have these uh, boulders, which whether they're, they're naturally here or, or, in, or brought in, uh, they are acting as a uh, defense from erosion to absorb some of the uh, river energy that we see uh, in evidence here. Now, we can also see perhaps another problem we have with the, uh, the water courses in Kuala Lumpur, and that is of river pollution. Now, we've got obvious river pollution here, uh, close to where those uh, fishermen are uh, sat, uh, in that we have debris uh, floating in the river. And debris is a particular problem in rivers in Kuala Lumpur because again it can clog up the water systems and that can also enhance the, the flooding uh, capability of the rivers. Here it's not too bad, we've got an accumulation of floating rubbish in the, in the river. A lot of this debris is, uh, comes from direct dumping of waste into the river system, particularly around squatter settlements further up in the catchment. Now those are on the decrease through um, uh, management of the urban area, but we still, there is still a problem of waste dumping directly into the rivers, which then manifests, it, manifests itself in um, these types of uh, accumulations. So it, that is being dealt with slowly by the Kuala Lumpur uh, planning authorities, but also hidden within the water, we do have problems with uh, direct uh, pollution from uh, sewage and surface pollution uh, sources. Now, so much so that that at times can eutrophicate the water system, it can strip it of oxygen and have an impact on the aquatic life and animals that uh, depend on the river system for food and, to, and to, to actually live in. Now, one way of, of bringing oxygen back into the river systems is to oxygenate it, uh, either directly or in this case, we can see that these uh, cascades, these rapids, these are not natural uh, features. They are engineered features that are put there in per on purpose, deliberately, to mix the water, to froth it up and to uh, put oxygen back into the water. And as you can see, it looks to be doing quite a good job. The uh, water flowing over those cascades are very energetic. They're mixing, bringing oxygen back into the, into the water. And just in this location, uh, as I've walked up, I've seen evidence of aquatic life. Um, there are uh, water monitor lizards on the banks. There are egrets, uh, there's, there are herons, uh, there are swallows and uh, all feeding on the, on the water ecosystem. So perhaps these uh, engineered cascades are doing what they're supposed to do. They are bringing life back into uh, these polluted rivers in, right here in the heart of the city center of Kuala Lumpur uh, to, to reoxygenate them and to, to uh, reduce the number of uh, pollutants that are, that are within them. So it's quite a fascinating example of the types of engineering, not just hard engineering, but also the more ecological engineering that's going on to maintain these river systems in the heart of Kuala Lumpur. Uh, the environmental issues then that we've just uh, looked at here are flooding and how that is uh, managed through, through the engineering works here, but, but also uh, pollution in the form of debris and in the form of uh, the uh, pollutants in the water and the schemes such as the these building of cascades to oxygenate the water to reduce the impact of that water pollution. So it's a very interesting uh, urban uh, environmental situation here and one that has to be closely managed.